Hello guys and gals and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over uh, one of the most powerful uniques um, well, in Diablo 4 for several seasons that uh, has only kind of recently fallen off because of a lot of the weapon tempers. And that is the Great Staff of the Crone. In uh, season 1... Point point five zero uh, season sorry season five uh, patch one point five zero uh, they really kind of like beefed up the great staff of the crow and to make it compete with the weapon tempers and I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, first off, it has 130% damage to close enemies, which is definitely going to help you scale that Thunderstruck passive um, so that you can focus on other things. On top of this, we also have a 80% to 100% critical strike damage, which is definitely going to be really nice for the werewolf side of things. It scales based on crits. And we also have the 207 to 270% damage to close enemies, stacking on top of that 130 that's on the passive and gives you an additional damage bonus, which is going to pr pretty much completely cap out your Thunderstruck passive. Um, uh, Paragon node with with relative ease. I mean, you're probably not even going to have to need to stack any close damage to scale that. Um, on top of this, they also added a special attack, which is Storm Strike chains to two additional targets. And uh, if you take a look at the way that Storm Strike works when you use it, you'll see that it kind of chains to like one two. It does like one two. It doesn't really hit like everything. Um, and depending on what you've hit, um, and let me take off Tyrael so it's a little bit more obvious, but Basically, you're going to get it to chain to at least one or two targets. Um, if you put on Great Staff of the Crone, when you cast it, one of the things you're going to notice is that it's going to pretty much hit everything. So it's going to chain to all of the targets. Uh, it's just a plus two to the total number of char target chains. And I think you can even make this even more dramatic just by simply putting a point into the chains to two additional targets as well. So if you just change this to the chains to two additional targets, um, I believe that pretty much brings up the number of targets that it can chain to, to, what is that? Um, do, do, do. See, electricity gathers, uh, chaining up to seven targets. So if we take it off, it says five targets. And then, of course, if you remove this one, it goes down to three targets, right? Yeah, three targets. So basically, the whole gist of this is that you're going to be making it so that your Storm Strike can chain to a massive number of targets. As you can see, there are up to seven additional targets with Storm Strike. And um, this is kind of insane, uh, which is definitely very nice with the way that this item works. They also changed it from Claw to plus four to Basic, which means that, yes, you did lose a couple points in Claw but you also gained four points in Storm Strike because before it didn't have any bonuses to Storm Strike. So a pretty good buff, honestly, because although you are losing two points in Claw, you are gaining four points in Storm Strike, which is honestly better in general uh, because you're going to be getting damage to both. Uh, Great Staff of the Crone also has a special effect, which is Claw is now a Storm skill and also cast Storm Strike. Um, at 120 to 200 percent of normal damage, so in and on top of that, it's also beefing up the damage of Storm Strike, and it's allowing you to cast it at the same time as Claw. So let's go ahead and grab Claw for a second here. This isn't my build, but whenever you cast Claw, you're going to get Storm Strike as well. And so as you can see here, I can make it so that I'm spamming some pretty good Storm Strikes and getting some decent little damage in, in response. Now, it's basically how this entire build works, is by utilizing this staff, you're going to be able to, number one, turn your claw ability into a storm skill, which allows you to scale claw through things like Thunderstruck and other storm passives that you can potentially get multipliers on it. Uh, on top of this, you're also going to be scaling your storm strike because you're going to be scaling the storm passives, which are in turn going to be scaling storm strike. And getting both of these attacks at the same time, it means you're basically getting two basics at the same time which is really nice they're chaining to up to seven additional targets which is kind of insane so your storm strike is going to be hitting pretty much half the damn screen most of the time mr goody two shoes mr goody two shoes ginger evil mentor here why bother farming when you can go to mmoexp.com and simply purchase your items and gold GGM would have you farm the items, what a pathetic being. Use code GEM, Ginger Evil Mentor, for 6% off your entire purchase. And don't tell Ginger Gaming Mentor that I was here. 
Um, and also the change from uh, Claw to Basic is, of course, going to beef up the Storm skill even more, which is kind of the entire focus of this, because although you're using Claw, you're getting the 200% damage bonus to your Storm skill and the Storm Strike, and then the Storm Strike is now also getting the plus four Basic skills. So it's definitely a lot more powerful, in my opinion, than the previous versions. Um, I think the only thing that they probably could have added in here that would have been nice is something that like makes it so that your basic skills have a chance to attack twice, but um, they didn't add that. I mean, technically, I guess you already are attacking twice because Claw and Storm Strike are being cast together, so that's two skills attacking at the same time, but that was kind of like the whole super benefit of it, and now you can get that from pretty much anything. You can make any basic skill attack twice. Um, in fact, I actually have... Uh, my basic skills are currently attacking uh, three times because um, I'm setting up for a trilogy. That's his name, trilogy. Great Staff of the Crone is also one that sometimes you just, for the longest time, had trouble just finding it at 925. Nowadays, you could find it at 925 pretty much every single time you go out. So, and we'll talk about that. Uh, the special flavor text on this is, She has existed in Scotland since before Fiaka Gier walked the land. Her purpose is a mystery to us all. However, approach her with deference. She may grant you her counsel. Uh, Arida to Donan. Um, now, this particular item does come from uh, specific bosses if you're trying to farm it, and if you want to use this item, you're definitely trying to farm it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on Great Staff of the Crone, and you notice that it drops from both Echo of Varshan and Lord Zir. Now, when you fight the normal versions, they're not level 100, and there's a very good chance that you're not going to end up with a 925 staff, which is an issue. If you fight the tormented versions of Echo of Varshan and Lord Zir, it will pretty much always be guaranteed at 925, and there's a very good chance that you can get some greater affixes on here to make it even stronger. And speaking of greater affixes, the plus four basic skills would be really nice to greater affix. The storm strike chains targets would be really nice to greater affix. Heck, the, everything on it would be really nice as greater affixes. And quite honestly, I could definitely imagine a great staff of the crone with four greater affixes and a 200% on the storm strike being extremely valuable because you could make an insane build with that. Uh, the storm strike chaining probably like four additional targets and then grab the other chain so that it's hitting like half the freaking room like plus six or seven to basic skills which is definitely going to be really powerful and then like nearly i don't even know what like 450 or like 500 percent close damage and when you combine the passive i mean it's a it's it's a strong item it always has been a strong item and it's just even stronger now than it was previously so if you want to set up a claw storm strike build i mean it's definitely a good season to do it. There's a lot of other builds that you could potentially be doing. There's a lot of other items that you could potentially play around with. But um, they definitely have taken the Great Staff of the Crone and said, you know, hey, we understand. Like, you got those tempering affixes. Those things are fancy. But take a look at this shiny. It's very shiny. And it is. It is indeed very shiny. And it's tempting me to, like, set up another, like, Claw Storm Strike build just to see how far I can push it, right? I think that's pretty much it for this particular item. Um, it's been a good item. It still is a good item. And now it's an even better item. Uh, there are so many more fun builds that you can build, though. And so, you know, maybe you don't want to build this right this second. But uh, eh, something you can swing back around to eventually. As always, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button on your way out. And uh, keep watching.